Okay, um, hello, if you're seeing this, um, there might be a little bitrate problem, so if the image is junky or, or too c looks bad, just uh, let me know in the comments, um, or in the chat, um, then I will maybe have to restart. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just going to do a little quick one hour stream. Um, maybe improvising about 20 minutes, um, seeing if I can find anything interesting. And after that, I'm going to look into uh, another track for my new EP, which will hopefully be out this year sometime. Uh, yeah, so wait, we'll just let's start the, um, let's start the recording. Because the last time I forgot to record, which was, <laughs> Not so good. Um, wait, why doesn't this work here? Uh, ah, okay. Input device, universal audio. Now we need the camper because all the synths are going through the camper. Uh, let's call this synth. Um, then we need another one called piano. And that comes from the Neumann K M hundred four and eighty four. And we need another track for what do it? Ah, right for um, the Brauner. So if we should record some chill parts, that will be useful. Um, and there was a fourth ah MIDI track. Yes, let's record all MIDI inputs. That's the Brauner. Okay. I think we're good. Whip, whip, whip. Whip. Okay. And everybody record. Very good. This is very good. Um, yeah. Okay. And please don't monitor because then we get this delay. Yo, yo. Um, all right, let's improvise a little bit. Um, I'm just going to change the, uh, wait a second. Um, I have to change the focus of the camera a little bit. Uh, uh, because if I put it on manual, it just looks for focus all the time. And we're not recording anymore, hey. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's go.
because I played some nice things, I think. And it's really quiet here. But maybe, maybe that's wrong. I don't know. I don't know. So if ah, whoa, whoa, two people in chat. I'm whoa. Thank you. That's new. Um, Valdi, hello. Um, Chris Lockwood, hello. Do you make music too? Um, ah, okay, you're chatting with one another. I'm also making music. Great. So it's basically three musicians here. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So, so again, if, if there's anything wrong with the stream, um, my internet connection is pretty bad. I might have to um, lower the uh, bitrate a little bit, but yeah, just, just let me know uh, and I'll do that. Uh, okay, I'll just keep on rambling on here on my synthesizers and stuff for about 10 minutes, I think. Thank you. 
you Vadi I just um, yeah I muted the wrong channel and I unmuted the wrong channel so and now it should be better um, it was just rambling <laughs> was very happy about the fact that there are uh, two people in my chat actually interacting which is beautiful uh, thank you for being here um, and yeah about the the uh, Orchestra Verfremdung I, and the, the videos about you know chopping up the orchestral recordings and stuff uh, or the score I felt that there was so th not really a, I enough people who cared about this um, f for me to pursue this further I mean this is kind of maybe I should I don't know uh, yeah but uh, right now I feel like maybe I just you know I feel like the next thing I will do is like a piano EP with electronics because you know I've been playing piano since I'm like this this small very small um, and I'm really comfortable at this instrument and playing on this instrument and I love electronics so that's maybe something I will do in the future um, <laughs> uh, but, but the mic is working right now right there's a, there's a weird um, like 30 second delay between um, me reading the comments and me talking, so that might take some time. Um, uh, okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to work a little bit on another track right now. Um, stop the recording. Okay. Oh, the piano's really, really quiet. Hey, anyway, um, I will be w w watching these afterwards and maybe correct it in the future. Uh, let's save this as uh, maybe just on desktop. Uh, what day is it? Friday, eight five, twenty twenty, April. Okay, um, yeah, there's, there's another track I've been working on, on the, um, yeah. Oh, really, you do, Chris? Thank you. I mean, I could, could you know, just for, maybe that's interesting. Let's, let's have a look. Uh, I could just look at my Spotify for artists and see. Wait, where is it? Hey, two people listening right now. Isn't that beautiful? Um, where is it? Where is it? Music. No, here. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a little bit different than uh, Chris. Uh, there's new music, but it's a little bit different than the Orchestra Verfremdung. Um, it's more, it's less complicated, I would say. Um, and with the Orchestra Verfremdung, I had the you know, opportunity to record with the whole orchestra several times, and with 
the new stuff I basically just had myself here playing cello and violin um, and I'm really not very good at playing especially the violin uh, but yeah that's that's um, yeah yeah That's good. That's a good thing. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the, the production value with this thing was crazy because uh, all the, the uh, orchestral recordings were done with um, with the German Film Orchestra Bobsberg. And I, I conducted them, I think, two or three times. A lot of sessions. Uh, and that was only possible because I was studying at the university, uh, Film University in Bobsberg, and they paid for these recordings. So, uh, yeah, and they also gave me a grant to record lots of other soloists. Um, so, yeah, that <laughs> that's uh, not going to happen uh, anytime soon again. But, uh, you know, right now I'm looking for ways to do this um, differently. And that's basically the, um, yeah, the, the newer stuff, like the uh, str orchestra, string orchestra, uh, which, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, different it's darker and it's not that complex i think um a little more intermediate it, 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 what's the word for it it's more direct um well uh, just a little side note i don't this is actually the pangong Tzu is actually my favorite track from the whole orchestra verfremdung and that um Oh, there's a really nice story behind this, but I think it's going too far right now. I wanted to make music here, not talk too much. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Um, this one. It's actually the um, EP I'm working on right now is uh, every piece on that, that EP will be dedicated to one animal or plant which has gone... What's happening? Ah, okay a plant or an animal which has gone extinct within the last 200 years um, and this one is for the um, what's it called Tasmanian Tasmanian thing <laughs> to to uh, to to I don't I really don't know how to pronounce this wait I'll look it up if it's the German word um, let's see what the English word is uh, English Tasmanian tiger, right? Um, which is a you know a funny animal. Looks like a cat and dog and a was. It was. I don't know too much about this, um, but it seems like a very, you know, very interesting combination of different creatures. Maybe a fox also. Yeah, and it. It's, it's gone extinct. Um, so this one is for this little creature. Um, what's, what's up in there? Ah, okay. I did not stop the blooper. Um, Piano sounds okay on headphones, but on my loud. 
loudspeakers. It sounds like crap. It's maybe a little bit too much low end. Hey, Valdi, um, the piano improvisations, it's really just. I, I, whatever happens. Um, I mean, I really, I, I think I'm really heavily inspired by the, these Tom York uh, Radiohead um, voicings where you have um, you know, the left hand playing some kind of white chord. Like, well, like a, you know, if you play a C major, you just play C, G, E. So you put the uh, third one octave up. Um, yeah, 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 it's very dark. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, I tend to, uh, uh, Chris, I, I tend to, um, I don't know, be either very melancholic and sad or very dark. That's kind of the, the two things that are very easy for me. Um, um, yeah, no, I mean, uh, why not? Hey, it's, yeah, uh, what I liked about the Orchestra for Fremden was that it was really just this, there was very lots of happy energy in there. You know, it's like, wow. Um, yeah, um, that that was a very weird time in my life. Uh, I guess, yeah, that's what comes out now. But yeah, the piano improvisations are really just um, whatever comes to mind. Um, but again, I, lo I love to to do these wide um, chords uh, and really not think about uh, uh, any form of uh, uh, tonality or something it's really just play whatever ever chord feels great and if you feel like you have done the same chord over and over again just switch the key and go somewhere else uh, there's you know in the music in, from like 1600 1500 they used to do this frequently they didn't were not um, were not uh, uh, restricted to one key or something. They just, you know, whatever fit, whatever chord was okay, they just played. Um, and I really like that idea of just, you know, free floating, a little bit like on the guitar where you just try out all sorts of chords and you have open strings and it's a little bit random. And that, and then the, the great thing is if there's something happening which was random, which was good, we just repeat that and try to build it. So, um, yeah, but it's really just whatever. No, 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 uh, uh, not, I really don't care about scale. Um, I mean, there are some, some things I, ah, sometimes I do, but it's really rarely um, like these uh, as, uh, dominant, but, but no, not really, really, I'm just, it's really just random and just going with the flow. <laughs> And I think also think if you if you stick to um, uh, key too much, um, it, it kind of locks you into a place which has been there ten million times. I mean, it's not like I have played anything which was not there already, uh, but the the uh, possibility to make something which is like a little um, yeah, a little more interesting is uh, is there if you just don't think about any key or something and just try out all stuff and again if there's something good happening by accident you just re revolve around that and see um, uh, yeah see if it's if there's anything good in there um, that's at least how I do it but yeah I mean do your thing really <laughs> uh, okay again piano Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, in jazz, uh, the, the jazz books are. Um, it's in a way uh, like the standard jazz is just as conservative as as uh, the classical new music, academic music world. It's um, there are there's a huge set of rules you have to follow if you want to play in a certain style, and that's great. I mean, if you want to write, write a Bach fugue or something there are lots of rules you have to follow to make it sound like it's actually written in the style of Bach but um, and the same with with the jazz books yeah yeah 
Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Olaf von Arnold, Nils Fram. I mean, basically, they they are using that. That's one thing. Uh, they are using this felt piano thing, uh, which is also built in my piano. Actually, I didn't know that. So it just <coughs> flick a switch, and um, then there's this felt. I don't know what, what's this. Uh, this kind of uh, molten. Molten. Has, it's a German word. Um, just a fabric between the strings and the hammer. Um, that's and I mean, it's this very soft. Uh, nice. La, 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 la. So I, I mean, uh, I like it. I have to be honest. I like the sound, even if it's not the most innovative, innovative thing in the world. Um, you know, I like to play that, and but I, I don't even know if that would be a recording. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, Okay, it distorts. There's you know, some distortion here. Let's put this compressor. Okay, and then it's louder. Uh, we need less uh, gain. Okay. It's still distorting, right? What's happening there? It's fine, I just... That's okay. I'll just listen over um, loudspeakers now. That's okay, I really... Uh, I really love to talk uh, talk to you. I mean, yeah, probably everybody else who's watching this is like, what the fuck, I want to hear music, or what, what, who, uh, but, uh, buddy, it's, it's, it's awesome, I love to talk to you. Located. That must be very far away. It's it's really comfortable. Um, Twelve a.m. p.m. I don't know how how, uh, how it's called. Midday here in Germany. And I think I have like one more hour until I have to take care of my daughter for most of this day. So let's make use of it. Yeah, the, the weird thing about this is, um, I think this this pad here, that's a blooper. That's some kind of weird, ah, ah, okay, yeah, that's far away. Hey, you both, nice. <laughs> Greetings to LA. I hope things are okay with you over there. Um, Okay, I think a good idea would be to just drop this and drop the gain of this every time the piano chord hits, so I don't have to make it too loud. Okay, just now that's too much, like a little um, manual side chain. Okay, let's do this every time. Bam, 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 bam. Done. Oh, okay. I'm 
sorry. That's the screen I actually wanted to go to. <laughs> sorry, you didn't see what I was doing all the time. I'm sorry. Uh... Hi, 14 bit MIDI. Stuttgart, nice. That's right about the corner. I think uh, Valdi and Chris are from LA and from Stuttgart is 14-bit MIDI and I'm from Berlin. So we are a great music community here of four people, two of them very tired. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay. But then these have to be aligned with um, these fake sidechain thingies have to be right on time. Now, I could either... Okay, I did not really play that well. Um, uh, so you go there, and you go there. Check. Okay, yeah, yeah we need to do that. Oh, whoa, whoa. I really... I can't play to click. Uh, actually, I can all okay this one is okay again <laughs> uh, you know 30 years oh wait I started playing piano when I was about four or five and now I'm 34 so I've been playing piano for a long long time and I still can't do this here <laughs> it's not so hard I mean this was a very very um uh, relaxed recording and I did not really concentrate and I didn't think this would be I would use this either so but still um. okay and this year uh, it's looking okay I guess <laughs> yeah, it's uh, kind of uh, Johansson. I really wanted to see him live, but um, sadly that did not work out. And he was actually playing here in Berlin, and I was, you know, a friend of mine uh, wanted me to come, but I don't know why. I think I was in a production, in a theater production back then, um, so I could not go. And yeah, that's that. Okay, um, now the the. Still wondering if this intro is too boring. Yeah, I think maybe maybe these these squeaky bits start too soon. But hey, anyway, let's just sketch out this uh, this track and not get lost in details. Um, so there are several other ideas here. Ah, okay. Uh, so we have to also take into account that there is a metric modulation from 20, uh, 120 to 90 BPM, so basically a um, triplet modulation thingy. Um, so this is still all in 120 BPM. So Ableton needs to know. I need to write 120, 120 BPM. And, ah, okay. Wait. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is going oh if this is going anywhere sounds like the strings n already know that they are stopping and you know, that's not good I don't like that maybe this goes on I don't know hmm. or at least these pulses maybe one more da -da 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 -da, so that they are ending on a downbeat. I mean, they are not, I did not really play that precise anyway, so. <laughs> but. Okay. And some little cute fade outs. A ah, nice function in Ableton is that you can quickly zoom in now and then quickly zoom out again. Basically every DAW could do that, I think. And now Ableton can too. That is good. Okay, let's see if this is better. I mean, these squeaky things aren't too much, obviously, but I think that's a little bit better. Mm, okay, that's one too many. One too many. No. as well or maybe this one is okay Okay, and there 
massive gap. Hey, and we could just up. repeat that. Ah, I'm not sure where this is going. This is like the hardest part of a track where you have this idea and the first idea is good and you think yeah yeah this is something and then uh, well for me at least I have no idea how to continue <laughs> It's not even that great. It, it's okay. But then again, I can't be sitting here and just putting out music, which I think is the best I've ever done, because then I would not be releasing any music anytime. I mean, the great thing about this, this uh, progression is that it's, um, you don't know where it starts and where it ends, because it's basically just all uh, for terz, like the third, uh, third, <laughs> it just goes, goes up in thirds all the time, so there's no real, I mean, yeah, there's this F minor thing, it's done, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's F minor, uh, I think it starts with, but, just a big crescendo and nothing nothing against big crescendos that's okay but um I feel like the next thing that should come in is some kind of melody, uh, like a simple cello thing or something. And my cello is heavily detuned. I will have to arm. Um, okay. I still have some time until I have to go parenting. Um, yeah, I mean, let's let's try some cello stuff. Um, this might be interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 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 um. But I have to tune the cello first that might take some time. <laughs>
Okay, sorry for this. <laughs> Should have done this beforehand. Yeah, of course. Um to record some um, beautiful <laughs> uh, uh, cello parts now, um, especially when my daughter is knocking at the door. Um, yeah, but wait, you know what? Let me show you some um, something what I mean about uh, the piano stuff. Um, maybe I can even take the camera to the piano. Let's see. That should work. Um, give me a second. Okay, Valdi, um, that is for you. I hope you see something. Well, just make this microphone here so that it doesn't fall off. Okay, so um, I mean, generally, you have these. Okay, let's put the felt on. Um, you have these inverted, of course, you know, try it, that's what you just said, you know this, of course. 
Um, and then I'm honestly, I'm just playing around. Um, it's just, you know, you can transpose it. What I love to do is um, go from, you know, it directly out of key. We, this would be C major. So um, basically, no black keys, um, no flats, no, no sharps. So, like, take this for example. I mean, um, and just go, go out of key directly and just, you know, do these. Well, this is somehow in, in some key, I don't even know what. But um, yeah, you can just basically take any root note and I mean, this is also nice. And then now, you know, <laughs> you see I made a mistake here. It's just um, played an F instead of a G. And um, no, it's so nice. This sounds like a... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, but hey. And then you can... Um, I mean, something which is very basic is just these... Uh, did seem like this tenth, just the root note and the third above. You can just, but you know, the basic idea for me is to just pick a key, like I'm, I say, I, I would be in F minor now. Okay. Uh, and, but apart from being in F minor, like the root note being F minor, uh, the root being F minor, uh, anything can happen. I could. Just go up to, and then the right hand basically just arpeggiates that chord with some, I don't know. And the more I come to think about this, um, I, what I actually do very often is um, if I'm in a major key like C major, next uh, will be uh, like an E, E flat major, so. That's definitely not in the key of C minor, a C major, but hey. Um, but I don't really, uh, and then you can of course try inversions. Um, like, yeah, stuff like this. Um, wait, I'll see if you hear anything. Chromatic medians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could call it that. I always thought medians were just in thirds. Um, yeah, but the basic idea is really, you know, just do whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, this sounds so stupid. But and I, you know, I'm doing this and I have no idea what it is, but I like it. And another thing um, you know, is that you have this uh, hovering, this tone, which is just, there is a very good name in German for it, I don't know the English term. Uh, that's what I mean with uh, ray head, and especially this, you know, breaking out of, or at least you know, if, if you say this is F minor, and you start in, See, you could basically argue this is F minor and you're just starting on the fifth. But generally playing something which is not in key. Um, yeah. <laughs> and hoping for the best that it sounds somewhat interesting. So I think uh, the best I could do to sum up what I'm doing here. Um, Right, um, I'll just put all the stuff back together here.
Hey, 14 bit MIDI. Um, yeah, sure, sure. Um, just let me know. Um, I mean, right now, obviously, would be not the best time. <laughs> but wait, let's put this a little bit higher. Um, yeah. I mean, Stuttgart is not that very far away. Uh, sometimes I'm also uh, in theater productions there. Oh, wait, I have, to, I have to read the comments. So many comments. That's so new for me. People actually writing comments. Uh, no, no. I'm <laughs> repeating after four chords. Um, yeah, sometimes. I mean, it's... I, again, I think it's a good idea to to be very open um, in 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 what 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 you th ah, how to, you know uh, ref restricting yourself to just four chords is um, you can do that time like um, uh, and it's really hard to explain because it's it's really just a, a process of trying something out and then if it sounds good going with it and. Yeah, just doing stuff with it. I'm really bad at explaining this. Um, um, but yeah, four chords, if it works, great. Uh, if, if not, take three. If, if, uh, if it's a seven bar thing, do that. If, if you have a five, eight meter, oh, you know, it's, it's really just about doing this a lot, a lot, a lot and digesting all of this w so that in the end you don't even have to think about it anymore and it's just, you know, happening. <laughs> You know, you're, uh, uh, there's a great term of um, analogy of the, the music is the uh, unconscious. Um, in German, it would be. Um, um, no, I don't care, care about how it's oh, the the, the uh, uh, unconsciously counting uh, or the, the counting subconsciousness. So, um, you know, the, the just play a lot, do a lot, and try it out. Um, Ah, okay. About oh, that is. It? Yeah, do I just use four chords? Man, really. Okay, I have to. <laughs> but hey, uh, w whatever works, right? Um, yeah, and I mean the funny thing is that once you digested a lot of stuff um, and you're trying, to, you're just going along, you 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 will end up in in these structures. Like in the, maybe I end up in four chord structures, actually. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm sometimes trying not to, uh, if it's if I feel that it's too obvious. But I don't know. Um, was this any help to you, Valdi? <laughs> uh, I hope so. Uh, if not, um, keep keep on commenting. Um, I don't have to read. Um, fourteen-bit MIDI. I'm living in more beat. Ah, Stieglitz. Yeah, Stieglitz is nice. Lichterfelde. Is this where all the Nazis are, or is this Lichtenrad? Ah, yeah. well, Lichterfelde is I think where all the Nazis. Are. But I mean, hey. Um, I think not anymore. I think it's changing actually. Ah, okay. If I'm consciously, uh, Valdi, if I'm consciously creating form or structure, um, yeah, I, I'm, I, really the most comfortable thing for me is um, not trying to create structure um, and just, you know, improvising. That's why I'm improvising a lot uh, and improvising, recording this and trying to find stuff that was good. And most of the time, this is more of a free form thing. Not not always. I mean, the, the can just be three chords, or I mean, three chords is already something, not four chords, right? Um, but I'm really trying to avoid the, the the very very obvious like four chord. Um, but then again, uh, the, the I think the most important thing is there are no rules. There are things, rules that people use to make their music, but to your music, you, there are absolutely no rules. You can do whatever uh, you you want. Um, so, yeah. But nonetheless, it's good to know how other people write music. So, 
and of course you're inspired by other people's music yeah, yeah but again I, I think it's a good mindset to know that there are no rules you can do whatever you want as long as you think it's it, there's something there <laughs> yeah yeah me too yeah, 14-bit uh, MIDI more beat is the prison part in Berlin and the part which was still cheap five years ago. And because I'm very lucky, we still have a contract from 10 years ago or something, so it's, it's still comparably cheap here. But um, And it's a great place for kids. Like There are lots of playing grounds and, and uh, it's very green and lots of parks and stuff. Anyway, so um, I did <laughs> not really make a lot of music here um, I think I will have to sign off now um, ah the quartet idea 14-bit um, MIDI uh, uh, yeah the quartet is still um, work in progress <laughs> Um, I, I actually stopped producing these videos because it's a lot of work to 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 make these. Um, but the quartet is there. There is actually a string quartet which was interested in playing. Um, I don't know if they still are. Who knows? Um, um, yeah, and I mean the, the basic idea of this quartet is good. I, I liked it a lot. Um, and also the score is pretty... I mean, it's not really done in any way, but there are three movements. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I feel like... The, the, it, it takes several weeks to finish this. Um, still, but I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I, right now I want to finish this EP first, and if that is done and online and all the stuff around it is, is running... Um, um, yeah, I, I'm going to work on that. Uh, but it's definitely on my uh, to-do list, the string quartet, because I like this. And I, you know, I've played it on piano several times now, uh, at least the, the sketches. And I'm always like, oh, okay, this this <laughs> were actually some good ideas there. So um, yeah, it's it's still a work in progress. Um, um, but okay, really, I have to leave now. Uh, I will be streaming today in the evening like um, German time <laughs> so probably like um, I don't know sometime in the evening like one or two hours and try to finish this um, you know this thing here or at least try to do more with it than just these couple of chords um, yeah but apart from that um, it was awesome that you guys were here or girls I don't know um, yeah thank you very much it was a pleasure tschüss see ya <laughs>